ready for a little dark side of school cafeterias. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give the trigger warning out the gate. So um, if you have a sensitive stomach, you've been warned. Huh. Also, um, the animal was already dead, so I'm not sure if this is con- this constitutes animal cruelty. Oh, okay. That's how we start. That is how we're starting. <laughs> okay. Mom, if you're listening, thank you for packing my lunch yep. so that I can stomach this. Okay, so here's what we're going to kick it off with. Dark side of school cafeterias. It was senior year of high school. A couple of guys in my grade had skipped class and were out wandering around the school grounds when they found a dead squirrel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One of the guys found a nearby empty pizza box and scooped the squirrel inside. The bell rang for lunch. So he brought it in to the cafeteria. I'll never know why, but the very next thing he did was toss the dead squirrel into the microwave. (gasps) Set it for five minutes. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. And walk away. No. No, 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 no. Roughly five minutes later, an unassuming freshman girl went to open the microwave and unleashed a wave of smell onto everyone in the cafeteria. <laughs> it literally smelled like death warmed over because that's exactly what it was. Kids were running out, gagging from the stench. Oh. The microwave had to be thrown away. The guy who did it was suspended for a week. Oh my, only a, a week. week? Yes. <laughs> A week. Yes. Oh my God. Don't they say animal cruelty, like when kids are cruel to yes. animals, they're serial killers? He should be in jail, potentially. Yes. <laughs> that escalated. It is. He is, now, he is now a serial killer. All right, next. Once and only once, we were given a square slice of meat pie with some vegetables. Watery carrots and peas spring to mind. Personally, I adore pie, especially a steak pie. This was not a steak pie. So I was working my way through this. I don't recall minding too much as I have had worse. Suddenly a hard crunch. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I spit it into my hand. Uh -uh. I kid you not, there was a tooth. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Not my tooth. Nah, not somebody else's tooth. Not my tooth. Nah. (laughs) Which I'm I'm not sure would be worrying or comforting, but a random tooth. Uh The tooth was an incisor and roughly the size of a normal adult upper front tooth. I gave the tooth to a dinner lady and their reaction was underwhelming. They assumed I was telling them my tooth had fallen out. Oh my God. This might be my least favorite dark side of all time. By far. This is disgusting. Uh Uh-huh. Dude, this is wild. So 22 kids fell ill in San Diego after drinking an expired beverage that may have been milk. Oh. Because there were so many different types of expired beverages, they didn't know which one caused the illness. Oh, Oh my God. God. (laughs) Our kids deserve better. There's no doubt about it. Expired milk. And then this story is freaking wild because I, when I was doing my search, I'm typing in school cafeteria grows, school cafeteria crazy story, insane stories, wild stories. And I also did school cafeteria scandal and listen to what happened, Mo, to New York City schools. Oh, New York City schools. Going home. Okay. A man who oversaw food service for New York City schools was convicted in a bribery case that picked apart how chicken tenders riddled with bone and bits of metal were served for months in the nation's (sighs) biggest public school system. What? So former city Department of Education official Eric Goldstein and three other men who founded a school food vendor were found guilty of bribery, conspiracy, and other charges after a month-long trial. So the trial gave jurors a stomach turning look at what some students and school staffers encountered when a brand called Chicken Topia uh-uh. uh-uh. turned up on their plates in 2016 and 2017. Now, according to prosecutors, Goldstein and his divorce lawyer were paid thousands of dollars to help ensure that the school system bought Chicken Topia items and other Soma products, sometimes on a fast track. Then, in September 2016, Soma hit a snag. A school system employee choked on a bone that was supposedly, that was in a supposedly boneless chicken topia chicken tender. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Needed the Heimlich maneuver to save their life. (sighs) For a time, for a time, the school stopped serving chicken topia chicken tenders. Uh, That was smart. (laughs) <laughs> they were allowed back two months later. What? No, stop. A day after Goldstein got paid $66,670. Oh, oh my God. God. How do you make that kind of mistake? They also gave him their shares of the of the beef business. 
and then he signed off on reintroducing Chicken Topia products. The tenders reappeared, so the tendies are back being served to these kids, uh-huh. and more complaints about foreign objects being found in them, and then finally. They ditched these products in April of 2017, according to the prosecutor. Oh, wow. Bye bye, Chicken Topia. Is that not crazy? That is insane. Do we know what happened to that guy now, today? So he, he was found guilty, and I don't have the sentence, but he could. It, it, the sentence was up to 20 years in prison for what he did. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because of all the charges added up, but I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what his sentencing ended up being, but yeah, no. Might skip breakfast this morning. <laughs> school, t- school, school cafeterias did not disappoint when it came to the dark oh, side. Oh, that's dark. Mm. The Burt Show.